Perfect. Alright guys, I just got my Q50 Duckbill spoiler. I purchased it on eBay from Custom Tuning. So, let's go ahead and open it. Alright guys, so first impressions is this thing looks amazing, like the carbon fiber material and how well it looks is going to look so sick on the car. Um, other than that, everything was very well packaged as you can see, there's a lot of this um, little bubbly stuff on it and this little piece to protect it as well and there was nothing else in the box, completely empty, um, but overall very impressed with the quality of the carbon fiber and the spoiler itself it's pretty sick so uh, let's go ahead and put this on the car I did notice it does not come with 3M tape so I'm obviously gonna have to go to Home Depot or AutoZone purchase some 3M tape and then we can go ahead and slap it on the car yeah so let's get to it welcome to another video right now uh, I just came back from Discount Tire. I took off the tires that were on my 370Z wheels because I'm actually going to paint them. I haven't told anybody, but I picked out a color that should look pretty pretty sick. So, I don't know if I can see them in the back, but they already took off the tires. I'm going to take off the sensors right now. I'm going to head off to my buddy's crib. His name's Flash. He has a wide body G35. Custom wide body. It's like the rarest G35 that you'll ever see with this wide body. Um, he made it himself. He got the, the panels, or the whole wide body off of a 350Z and made it into zone to fit his G35. So we'll head over there right now and I'll show you exactly how it looks. You guys will be surprised how amazing this thing looks. I'm recording this on Saturday and we should get the wheels back hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday. One of those days we, sh we should get the wheels back. Alright, today's the next day. I'm heading over to my next game right now because I play, I'm starting to play Saturdays and Sundays and I'm also going to start playing soccer on Mondays and Wednesdays as well. So I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of starting to play every day again and hopefully I can start losing some weight. So let's go, after my game, I'm gonna head over to AutoZone or Home Depot, pick up that 3M tape, and then we're gonna get head home and install the duckbill on the Q50. All right guys, so I went ahead and added some 3M tape to the duckbill. I pretty much added two pieces to each, or strips to each side. I have two here, and I have another one here. I'm just so they can adhere properly. I'm going to go ahead and wash the car real quick, just on this section. I'm just going to use some water and like some alcohol to try to remove all the contaminants or whatever it's on here. And then we're going to go ahead and place it on. Now when you are placing the duckbill onto the car, make sure you're not using any soap to clean the area. Because soap is not going to allow the adhesive to stick properly. So I would just use some water 
and something that's going to remove the contaminants from the actual vehicle. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can notice, but this side's a little off. So if I measure my finger from this curve, that's about how far it is. And then over here, if I measure my finger, it's slightly off just by a little bit. But that's mainly my fault um, because I should have pushed this up a little bit more. Because at the bottom, there's a little bit more of a gap than the other side. The other side doesn't really have a gap. See how it's all the way right there? The men's right here. So, but it's fine, it's only a little bit off. Yeah, um, I tried taking it off again, but I started bending the carbon fiber and I started making these little, I guess, spider webs. You can't really tell, but I noticed it a little bit, so I just stopped. But it's on there, I don't see it coming off because I see how it's moving a little bit. And this side's really stiff. That's because of that, because the side is sticking out a little bit. I was gonna try to pick it up but I noticed that it was starting to crack and I don't want to end up breaking it. All right guys, so I decided to take the duck bill off and redo it again, because it was really bothering me and I fucked up. <laughs> so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, it, the, the fitment is perfect now. It's even on all sides, even right here at the bottom. It's now even with this side here. So it was my mistake. I didn't align it perfectly, but it started cracking when I was taking it off. So you can barely see it right here, but it cracked right here. It cracked right here. And it also cracked right here. This one, it cracked bad, like, watch. It's now flexing right there. And this is even like, you can hear that. So it cracked right there. And yeah, if you plan on doing this, do it right the first time. If you have to take it off, there's a huge chance it's going to end up cracking. Um, it was flexing on two sides. The main sides were this one and this one right here. Overall, it looks great. It looks really sick. I mean, you can't tell that the cracks are there, the flexing of the carbon fiber. But it still bothers me because it's there. And then I did mess up the bottom part of the, the trunk. It has a bunch of scratches under here because I was using a screwdriver and a flathead to take it off. But learn from my mistakes, do it the, right the first time, and you won't have any issues. This is how the car looks right now. It is on stock wheels. Until I can get my wheels back, I should get it back on Wednesday. And I'll make another video with the reveal of the new color on the wheels. It should look a lot better with that new color. But this is how the car sits right now.